everyone welcome back to another video my name is Courtney and I'm from New Zealand thank you so much for coming today I thought this one would be interesting this one is what's it like to be a billionaire in India um, I can only imagine well I can't even imagine because billionaire is next level there is one thing to be like a multi-millionaire but to be a billionaire that's next next level so we're gonna watch this together let me know what you guys think down below give this video a thumbs up if you do like it and you want to see more videos about India, leave any video recommendations down below and let's get into it. While China and the United States have been battling it out on who houses the most billionaires, quietly over the years, India has been ranking in more and more members into the uber elite class. Okay, Yet India. at the same time, the wealth gap between the rich and the average Indian citizen is increasing. Mm. But what is life like for the rich in the Asian country? Well, that's what we're going to explore today. We'll examine the perks and struggles of holding a fortune in India, and we'll see okay. some of the most exorbitant purchases that have taken place in India. So, <laughs> let's get started. Oh my gosh, I can only Between imagine. Between 2010 to 2017, India was reportedly adding a new billionaire into their ranks every 33 days on average. Wow. Back in 2000, the nation had only nine billionaires. In 2017, the nation had 101 billionaires residing within. According to Forbes' most recent look at countries with the most billionaires, India now has 140 billionaires. This figure puts them in third place Jeez. in the world rankings, beating Germany which has 136 billionaires. At the time of the list being published, India's richest held a collective $596 billion between them. This was a 90% increase from the previous year when it was $313 billion. Whoa. The person that tops India's richest list is Mukesh Ambani. He made his fortune being the majority shareholder and chairman of the conglomerate Reliance Industries. The company also created one of the country's biggest telecommunication companies, Geo. Due to all this, at the time of writing, Ambani has an estimated net worth of $79.7 billion making him the richest person in India and in all of Asia. Currently, the That's second crazy. richest person in India is Gautam Adani and his family. The majority of his fortune stems from being the founder and chairman of Adani Group. He also owns the coal mine Abbott Point, Mundra oh, Port, man. and has a 74% stake in Mumbai International S Airport. At the time of writing, he and his family have an estimated net worth of $55.9 billion. The industrialist Shiv Nadar made his cash from co-founding the IT firm HCL Technologies. Like Jeff Bezos' Amazon, HCL was also created in a garage. Due to forming HCL, Nadar is currently the third richest person in India. Wow. At the time of writing, he has a net worth of $25.6 billion. On top of his business it's acumen, Nadar has also funneled a reported $662 million into his Shiv Nadar Foundation. The rich in India are seemingly looking to leave the country. In 2015, it was discovered by New World Wealth that India had the second highest number of millionaires leaving their country. Number one was China. Between 2000 and 2014, 61,000 of India's top earners had moved abroad. The favored nations to move to include the US, the UK, Australia, and the UAE. The reasons for leaving stem from security concerns, tax increases, oh. and the desire for better education possibilities for their children. Oh, In 2019, 7,000 millionaires left the country for newer pastures. Wow. The citizen residency advisory firm Henley & Partners claimed in February 2021 that Indian nationals were the most active in inquiring with them on such programs as citizenship by investment or residence by investment. This is essentially when a person will receive citizenship or permission to reside within a country thing, right? in exchange for financial investment of some kind. Mm. The top countries that Indians thought about going to include Canada, Portugal, and Austria. Wow. One of the most popular packages in Europe is the Portugal Golden Residence Permit Program. As long as a person spends at least 350,000 euros, around $412,000 on real estate, they will gain a residency permit. As for the expensive oh, wow. items that India's richest have splashed the cash on, we first have Antilia Tower. It's billed as the most expensive home in the world. So with a title like that, of oh, course it's the home of the richest house. Indian national, Mukesh oh. Ambani. With 27 stories, the tower was constructed in 2010 and overlooks the city that of Mumbai. 
Some That's features one include house? three helipads, a no. seat cinema, nine <laughs> elevators, no and a way. grand ballroom. I don't believe it. According to one of the architects on the project, the construction cost nearly $2 <laughs> billion. Dollars. Yet what? there's been claims of it being as high as $5 billion. But there's like In nothing to him, right? For one month, it was discovered that the electricity bill was a massive $109,000. When people from loaded families get married, they like to go all out when it comes to their special day. In wow. 2016, Brahmani, the daughter of Gali Janardana Reddy, was getting married, so they held a five-day lavish wedding. Altogether, the <gasps> event amazing. reportedly cost around $74 million. Oh. This drew the ire of Indian citizens as this happened during a cash flow crisis. Brahmani Sari is said to have cost $2.5 million, while the jewelry she wore amounted to $13 million. Then in 2018, there was the Ambani Piramal wedding. Isha, the daughter of Mukesh Ambani, married Anand, the son of billionaire Ajay Piramal. A number of celebrities were guests, including Hillary Clinton, Deepika Padukone, and Sachin Tendulkar. Even wow. Beyonce was there to perform. There were reports oh that the gosh. wedding cost up to $100 million, <laughs> this is crazy. while others claimed it was closer to $15 million. Private jets have always been a favorite toy amongst billionaires. In 2015, yes. consulting firm Frost & Sullivan claimed that 12% of the world's private plane market was made up of Indian nationals. In that wow. same year, around 142 planes were estimated to be owned by Indians. According to reports, some of these jets went up to $310 million in value. Canadian plane creators Bombardier Mate. estimated to deliver 1,215 planes to India between 2014 to 2033. The managing director and chairman of the Raymond Group, Gautam Singhania, had his net worth estimated as high as $1.4 billion in his career. He happens to be one such billionaire that has a plane. In 2016, he reportedly owned a Bombardier Challenger 600. At the time, these jets cost up to $21 million. That's While the crazy. affluent in India are getting richer, the wealth isn't exactly trickling down to the average citizen. In fact, all the extra capital for the billionaires has actually increased the inequality gap. In 2018, Oxfam examined the growing divide in India. They found that the top 10% of the country's wealthiest controlled 77% of the total national wealth, with 73% oh, wow. of the wealth generated going to the top 1%. While the poorest half of the population only saw their wealth increase by 1%, Oxfam found that for a minimum wage worker in rural India to reach the yearly salary of a highly paid executive, it would take that worker 941 years. After all, Holy the lowest paid bejavis. citizens often make less than $5 per day. The recent global situation has worked in India's billionaire's favor. In the space of a year from 2020 to 2021, a number of wealthy had their net worths increase massively. Mukesh Ambani's reportedly rose as much as $15 billion, while Gautam Adani's net worth increased by $13 billion. What do you do with all this money? By the end of what 2020, the top 1% of earners reportedly controlled 40.5% of the nation's wealth, a rise of 7% from 2000, according to Credit Suisse. Final fact finish. The most expensive piece of art created by an Indian artist was sold in March 2021. Via the auction house Saffron Art, the untitled work of V.S. Gaitande from 1961 went for around $5.5 million. That okay. record was very nearly short-lived <laughs> as the 1931 work titled In the Ladies' Enclosure by Amrita Shergill was sold in July 2021 for $5.14 million. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. I like half expected it to be like $1.1 billion or something. <laughs> holy pajamas holy pajamas that is crazy it's a whole other world literally and us common folk we have no idea hey we have no idea i cannot even imagine that's the thing i cannot even imagine having a billion dollars but but these people have like <laughs> like what was it 76 billion or something 79.7 billion dollars excuse me so i assume right a lot of these like business people like jeff bezos and stuff 
and I assume like a lot of these people, a lot of a lot of that money is tied up in shares, right? So I don't know how much of that is actually like cash, but like, what do you, what do you do with the money? That's what I don't understand. That's so much. Do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like it, you get to a certain point and it's like, well, actually, I don't really need any more money. I got enough. <laughs> like, you know, do you know what I mean? Like, 76 million, uh, 76 billion is a whole nother level. Like, I actually cannot grasp it. Is it just me who cannot grasp 76, 79 billion? <laughs> What is going on? What is going on? Holy bejeebus. Oh my gosh. Let me know what you guys think about this video and this topic. My goodness gracious me. Thank you so much for watching with me today, everyone. Give this video a thumbs up if you did like it and leave any video recommendations down below if you do want to. If there's any other country that you want me to react to or um, leave any particular videos down below. Um, that you want me to react to and I would love to do those as soon as I can and definitely feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.